Hey guys, I'm here with uh, I'm here with Snappy at IEM Katowice 2017, waiting f to see who the victor of Immortals versus North will be. Who would you rather have win? I don't root for Danish teams, so I would I would <laughs> want Immortals to win. <laughs> Do you guys tear each other down? Mm, I'm friends with them. I hope to, I hope for the best uh, regarding social stuff like family and girlfriends. <laughs> but when it comes to CS, I hope they lose. Okay, so there can only be one. Yeah, the, it's just Danish rival yeah. rivalries, I think. So yeah, that's that's the only reason. Do you think they're like that too? Is there, is there yeah, are your team like that too? I am one hundred percent, even though they might say otherwise on Twitter. Mm. Very interesting. Okay, that's cool. I mean, that does that help? I mean, just we haven't had a period where Danish CS was so dominant, in CS:GO at least. So do you think that helps? Um, the the need to not only compete against whoever you're playing, but then like your the people that you practice against probably a lot yeah i don't really it, it doesn't it doesn't really come down to that i think we practice basically anyone in europe so but i think it's obviously a good thing that the danish teams push each other and want to be the best mm -hmm. uh, both worldwide but also also on a national level so yeah that's certainly uh, improving the competition in denmark Oh, I, I talked to you, Valde, earlier and uh, mentioned that Freeze only called for a short period of time. We're going back a little bit, obviously. And then and then you called for the majority of the time. Did did Freeze call while you were on the team, or did you take over that role immediately? Uh, Freeze was calling for three or four days, I think, because okay. I was uh, tired of some things. So okay. after that, we went back to me calling. Oh, okay. So you were before and after. I was calling from the day I joined. Basically, when I joined the team, Glaive and uh, our coach Hester was calling, mm -hmm. but we sucked dicks at boot camp, so um, we started uh, using me as an in-game leader instead, and we started improving improving by that point. Uh, and that's also at the point where we got a lot of good results in Heroic, where we won power lane and did good at Star Ladder, made some all right results at, at Northern and other events. So. Yeah, I believe that was the right choice at that time. Are you in IGL? Yeah, I am. Inside and outside? Mm, I'm not sure. Sometimes I think it's really mentally hard to actually be the IGL because you put yourself in a tough spot. And mentally, I want to be able to frag, but not being able to frag really hurts my confidence sometimes. So that's really the, the struggle I sometimes have. But yeah, I surely think I'm... I'm an I'm an in-game leader, both outside and inside the game. Uh, you mentioned that uh, that issue with the confidence when you have to focus on other things and can't frag. Do you think that like plays a role in a lot of people's minds when they're when they're calling? Can you speak for other people? Mm, yeah, I definitely think so. Um, I can't really speak for other on other people's behalfs, but I would imagine so because for me, coming from from one place, point six where I played rifle and. I was the Orba in Copenhagen Wolves and did solid frag fragging in both roles. So being the in-game leader and suddenly going down to a whole other level yeah. uh, in terms of fragging has definitely hurt my confidence. But I just like have to like try and get the best out of it and try to improve uh, where I can. And I definitely think that being a stable team over time can improve my performance because at that point there's some stuff that I would I would in-game lead right now that I wouldn't have to in-game lead because people would know what to do in certain situa situations. So I believe being a stable team is definitely one of the keys for me to improve as a player as well. So that the same can be said for almost every team, just like less micromanaging as the IGL, right? Now would you would you say that so could you describe your IGLing style? A lot of us don't can can kind of see like oh this team plays pretty structured or strict but we don't hear the comms you know so like would you describe your team as uh, with your IGL style as as, uh, um, as like micromanagement heavy or uh, pretty stringent? I mean, it's I suppose you could uh, say it's structure with some freedom. Mm -hmm. um, if people want to do a move, they uh, most of the time are allowed to do it, but. We certainly have structure in our playstyle, and the team I look to when I when I want to watch a demo and get new ideas is always versus pro because I definitely think they're the best tactical uh, team in the world oh. by far. So I think if you 
had to describe us as a team. I think if you are looking at the tactical expert, expert uh, there's certainly some maps where we are a mini copy of Virtus Pro in some regards. Wow, I didn't, I didn't myself uh, see Virtus Pro in the same regard. I, I thought a lot of their um, their wins or their great rounds had a lot to do with their ability to trade um, in, yeah, in a good spacing. Uh, yeah, but surely they are amazing at doing trades, but also believe that their set executes are one of the reasons that they actually can do those trades. Mm. So, yeah, Versus Pro is definitely the team I look at when I want to get ideas. Oh, very interesting. Um, now, I, I talked to Alu earlier, and he mentioned that he didn't care who... Uh, who won their series for who they were going to face? Like they didn't care. Do you do you care what team that you play? Mm, I said before that I didn't root for Danish people, but I mean now we are a little closer to Australia, so it's kind of like a weird feeling in that regard because I want to face Navi because that would be the easier choice for us because of the map pool, but also I want to want Australia to win win in some weird way, but the best opponent for us would surely be a Na uh, Navi. Mm. But regardless of who the team is going to be, we are going to be huge underdogs. So we're just going to try to do another upset. Um, Valde also mentioned he doesn't think that you guys are near your potential at all with your two new pickups. I feel the same way? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, there's some roles that I definitely don't feel comfortable in right now. Yogi been put into the same positions and same spots doing the same stuff that Freeze was doing. Mm -hmm. We haven't had time to adjust uh, Nico. We haven't had time to adjust to Yogi being a much more aggressive orbit than Freeze. So basically what we would do before was we would, the rifles would take more high risk, high reward plays. We need to get away from that and let Yogi work with the orb because he's certainly a good orber. So the whole team, we have to figure out a new game plan on certain maps. I believe a month with this team uh, without too many tournaments and official matches would definitely improve us a lot. I think at this tournament we pull some upsets, but I mean, that can happen all the time. We're definitely not at our full potential, but we played good in three matches. Uh, one last question. There's a thread on Reddit right now that says, uh, they're surprised that people don't have a lot of respect for, for you guys making the semi spot and uh, taking all these upsets and are more putting it to like the best of ones and stuff like that. Are you guys just happy to be here or do you kind of do you, do you credit yourself for the wins that you had yesterday? Uh, we credit ourselves. We beat uh, Versus Pro is by far the best nuke team in the world. We beat them on nuke. I think Navi's strongest map is Overpass. We beat them on Overpass. And Nuke is also one of, one of North's best maps, and maybe they would even say themselves that it's their best map. So I definitely credit our wins to ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we did a good job, but I also believe that obviously there are still a, still better teams teams than than us. Mm -hmm. But saying that we don't have a place here is just straight out wrong because every tournament we attended, we pulled. A, I mean, I actually think we got a higher than 50% win rate against top 10 teams in the world on LAN. Mm. So saying we don't have a place at an event like this is just straight out wrong. Oh, that's a strong stat. Well, thanks for the interview, man. Thank you. And uh, for more coverage, check us out at Yahoo Esports.